I've just been to collect these <laughs> for the next project and because they were the right price. Good morning and welcome back to Alan's Allotment. It's Saturday the 19th of August 2023. I'm just having me a normal cup of coffee. Right, so as you can see, I've arrived at the allotment. And the first thing I want to say today is a massive, massive thank you to everyone who have left donations on the link in the description fields of the last few videos. It really, really, really is very much appreciated and the generosity is greatly accepted. It helps me to buy things, cameras, tripods, microphones and flagstones, wood chips, things like that. It all goes towards helping the maintenance and running costs of the allotment. And I really do appreciate it. And if you think that the entertainment that I provide you with is worth 50p, then I would greatly accept 50p on the link in the description fields of each of the videos. So with that out of the way, I just want to say a massive thank you because those flagstones out there technically were purchased by you, my subscribers, and or watchers. And uh, it is very, very, very much appreciated. So we've got that to unload. We've got a window to fix, but it's blown an absolute hooligan at the moment. So much so that it's damaged all of the gladioli. In spite of staking them up, it still blew them over and damaged most of the gladioli. It's been absolute torrential rain all night, and it's still raining now. So basically I'm going to have to try and dodge the raindrops as usual, and uh, typical in northwest Cumbria. And then I'm going to just see what I can get done. But the intentions today are just to do leisurely things. I don't intend killing myself today because I just want to catch up on things now that I can. I really wanted to get the brassic cages done, but if the weather doesn't allow me to do that, then so be it. I did buy some mesh and I came midweek and had to go starting to cover those, but the mesh was so crap I could put my finger through it. So that seller will be getting fantastic feedback off me. They're always shouting, can you give me some feedback? Well, they will get some feedback on this particular item. It's rubbish. So I have now got some more green scaffold netting and weather permitting if I can get outside and do it that's really what I want to do is get those cages finished on the raised beds that we made only a couple of weeks ago and if you haven't seen those videos pop back a couple of videos and watch start to finish how I prepared those sleeper beds I'm going to shut up bubbling for now I'm going to have this cup of coffee and I better get some work done and if you believe that I'm not going to kill myself today then you're a bigger fool than I am. <laughs> Catch you later. All the joys. Right, first job. A cockle. First job, we'll get these flags unloaded and stacked. Oh! Get them safe. I'll need me wheat to mix after this, I doubt. <laughs> I'll get on with this, then we'll bring you back. Oh, right, last one. <laughs> Little and often. I had to keep stopping for a rest, but we've got to the last one now. So that's uh, 40 flags unloaded. And a nice little seat to sit on for a rest. <laughs> As you can see, uh, these gates work a treat. It was brilliant getting this trailer out of here this morning. Taking the padlocks off, unbolted, swing the gates back. And it was an absolute joy. And it'll be the same when I put it back. So, 
one of five minutes rest, close the gates, unhitch the trailer, and I'll catch you shortly. Right, the amount of time that that has saved, just being able to open those gates, trailer out, trailer back in, close the gates and lock up, is unbelievable. To think I used to have to fight on taking all the screws out, the bottom, the sides, the top, it was, and then the sheer weight of the thing. Simplicity itself, should have done it years ago. But it's the old adjunct, time and health. So it's done now, and I'm now reaping the benefits of that. So behind this trailer, you might just be able to see, there's 40 flags stones down there. You'll have to keep watching to find out what I'm gonna do with them. As you can see, I've warmed up, <laughs> I'm in a t-shirt. It's born a hooligan, but thankfully, the rain's off. So let's see if we get something else done. Right, so something I've just noticed with these, what are they called? What are they called? Car potatoes, that's the word I was looking for this morning. The car potatoes, the foliage is getting brown and black and I think it's starting to get blight. So I'm gonna pull these out. Whatever they are, they are. We'll just wait and see. But more importantly, I want to move this bed as well. This bed is coming out completely now to give me more room for the trailer. And uh, we'll use the pallets on top of here. And uh, that's my intentions with that. And they're coming through okay. So you see what we're doing is we space them out and we put two or three in a clump. And then if we end up with a glut, we can thin some of those out. And then I've got the uh, golden burpees beetroot here. Two rows of. Um, so yeah, we're going to be taking this bit out of the equation altogether now. Right, so this is a classic example of even when things are against you, just keep going and keep planting and trying and trying new things. You never know, you might get a bonus. So as you can see, um, it's either six, only six or eight weeks ago, I planted nine little marbles like that that was left over in the seed bag of these car and I think I might have got the labels mixed up because they look like the um, Picasso but maybe they both look the same I don't know until I harvest the other car is but let me show you what we got I'm delighted with what I've got within six to eight weeks and I've only pulled them because the amount of rain we've had wettest July so I didn't plant these I think it was the end of June so if it was the end of June they've had six weeks if it was the beginning of June or middle of June, then they've had eight weeks. Either way, I'm happy with these that came out. Absolutely buzzing. Now, it's not a massive harvest, but from nine little wee taters, potatoes, in less than a collar bed, that's a good harvest. And they're all a decent size. One or two little marbles, but mostly very edible potatoes. Happy days. Right. Four and a half million staples later, we finally got this plastic cage finished. And as I say, it's a permanent structure now. Um, but I didn't need to buy hinges and I didn't need to buy snacks, etc., etc., etc. So what I did was I made this entire side panel removable for ease of access when I'm weeding, watering, thinning out etc. So let me just show you how that works. So basically I just made myself some turn catches out of the off cuts of the wood. Same on the bottom, pull this forward, lift it out, lovely and light and there I have full access to get in and weed, put my nail and pad on here or something and get in here, I can weed, I can thin it out, etc. And this job's done. Now, it's not the prettiest because I made a little bit of a booboo on that side. However, it's practical and it's doing the job, hopefully, of keeping butterflies off, etc. So, pretty much had enough for today now. I'm pretty tired. This took longer than I thought it was going to and a bit more planning than I thought. But, it's done now. So, yeah, the hard work's done. I can now reap the rewards of doing this. So, all that remains is to put this 
back into place. Simply like that. And as I say, it's, it's, it's not heavy at all. I have turn catches on the bottom, I can just drop that down, push it in, turn that, push this down. Same this side, put the turn catch down, lift it up out of the way, square the frame, and put the catches back. And that's how it works, and it can do exactly the same on the other side. Now then, it's still a little faff, but I can sit like that all winter. Or until I need to get in the harvest, or weed, or thin, or whatever. So, and, and the frame is so light, it's unreal. Um, it's literally just those lats that we, that we bought in the last video. And uh, I paid £30 for them lats. I've used two bundles out of the ten bundles. And eight full eight foot lengths that we bought out of a pack out of the bundle of 10 um, and the netting I had already so yeah I mean let's say it costs 50 quid to make it's still cheap for the protection it offers the ease of access and you couldn't buy something for 50 quid that is that practical in my opinion but that's just my opinion see what you guys think anyways as always guys Really appreciate you following me along. Thanks again for all the donations, subscriptions, suggestions, comments, dislikes, likes. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button now. It takes two seconds. Select the bell icon, select all. And every time I put up a new video, you'll be uh, alerted to the fact I've put up a new video. And as I say, I do put up two or three, two to three videos most weeks, unless I'm ill. As always, wherever you are in the world, please stay safe. Be practical and keep yourselves out of harm's way. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.